I can demonstrate this to you in a um, very simple way. I have here a cooking pan, and the cooking pan, I used to boil lobsters in there, it's a large pan. The cooking pan I'm going to charge up, and the cooking pan here has a radius, whatever it is, maybe 20 centimeters, but look here at the handle, how very small this radius is. So I'm going to put charge on there, and I'm going to convince you that I can scoop off more charge here where the radius is small than I can scoop off here. I have here a small, flat spoon, and I'm going to put the spoon here on the surface here and on the surface there, and we're going to see from where we can scoop off the most charge. Still charts from the previous lecture. So here we see the electroscope that we have seen before. I'm going to charge this cooking pan with my favorite technique, which is the electrophorus. So we have the cat fur and we have the glass plate. I'm going to rub this first with the cat fur, put it on, put my finger on, get a little shock, charge up the pen, put my finger on, get another shock, charge up the pen, and another one, charge up the pen, make sure that I get enough charge on there, rub the glass again, put it on top, put my finger on, charge once more, and once more. Let's assume we have enough charge on there now. Here is my little spoon. I touch here the outside here of the can, of the pan, and go to the electroscope, and you see a little charge. It's very clear. What I want to show you now, it's very qualitative, is that when I touch here the handle, it's a very small radius that I can take off more charge. There we go, substantially more. That's all I wanted to show you. So you've seen now in front of your own eyes for the first time that even though this is a conductor, that means that it is an equipotential that the surface charge density right, right here is higher than the surface charge density here. Only if it is a sphere, of course, for spherical symmetry reasons, will the charge be uniformly distributed.